From recruitment to promotion tussle, these and other issues have been the bone of contention between the Nigeria Police Force and the Police Service Commission. This one day retreat in Abuja between the Police Management Team and the Police Service Commission seeks to mend broken fences on appointment, promotion and discipline of police personnel. Referring to the NSAS protest and move by the police hierarchy, which resulted in a legal tussle. The chairman, Police Service Commission, Musili Smith, believes that the misconduct of police personnel resulted in the uprising by citizens against police brutality, saying hundreds of complaints against police officers are received monthly by the commission. As such, both agencies need to do better repairing the image of the force. The Commission's boss also advised the police leadership on the IGP Adamu to review arrangements on ground for investigating complaints from aggrieved citizens. Very short period, even though one will expect thorough investigation, that investigations are thoroughly conducted, and whoever is a police officer who has misconducted himself, that what the regulation expects us to do, we do. Once we are doing that, I'm sure that some of these public complaints will go down. Some of these bad elements we have in the force, we will have had the opportunity of flushing them out of the service. Please, I want to suggest that we should try and do something about complaints from members of the public. Because the rate we are getting, judgment deaths against police is alarming. Police can never get the money to pay. Police Service Commission, too, can never get the money to pay. Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, noted that the negative impact of social media has made it critical for both institutions to strengthen their partnership framework towards the attainment of goals which bothers on securing and safeguarding the nation. This retreat is aimed at achieving three critical objectives. First is to bridge the communication gap and strengthen the bond between the Police Service Commission, being the most strategic oversight agency of the Nigeria Police. The second is to engender a better and mutual understanding of the inner working of the board, commission, and the Nigeria Police, particularly in relation to complex interplays that regulate the issues of posting, discipline, and promotions. The third objective is to iron out teaching areas that have been inhibiting smooth working relationship between the Commission and the Nigeria Police Force. Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, noted that collaboration and harmonious working relationship is key to achieving results for the government and overall interest of citizens. Harmonious working relationship in the system and the governance can as well translate to effective and harmonious output, without which the desired collaboration, the desired output may not be feasible. Musili Smith, alarmed by the judgment debt against police, says judgment attracting financial penalties would have been reduced if there was an enabling environment to properly investigate matters raised against the police explaining the need why best hands should be jointly recruited into the force. Nigerian Police Force and the Commission, we have to work harmoniously so that we can always ensure that the best materials available in the society are recruited for the force. No organization of the two can do it alone. If they do it alone, there will always be problem. So please, I want to advise us, anytime there is going to be recruitment, we carry the other organization along. It's very, very important. So that at the end of any, any exercise carried out, we don't have challenges as uh, we had a few months ago. It is expected that at the end of these retreats, there would be a solution to whatever challenge of the past and both parties can agree on a common front to improve the security arrangement and enhance internal security in the country. Uluwa Tubi Anison reporting for Viable TV.